MLA uses the concept of containers that contain core elements for a citation. Standard among these elements is the author and title of the source you're using. When the source being documented forms a part of a larger work, the larger work can be thought of as a container that holds the source, such as a poem, short story, or chapter in a book or anthology, an article in a journal, newspaper, or magazine, or even postings or articles on a website. Normally, to cite a book, finding the core elements in container 1 is sufficient. Because ebooks are housed in an even larger container, that is, an ebook database, a couple other citation elements from container 2 are used. In this case, the title of the database and the location come into play. The location of a work depends on the medium of publication. The location of an online work is commonly indicated by its web address or URL. When possible, cite using the DOI or Digital Object Identifier. If that is not available, use the stable link, sometimes known as a permalink. As a last resort, use the URL. View the example to see how those elements are arranged. Note the punctuation marks used. Also, note that this example uses a URL and the prefix HTTP has been removed.